Hi, I'm Mark Roberts. I'm here at Brighton Electric with Ben Minel recording some drums. This video is about how to record toms. So, mic in the toms. We talked about kick and snare. Now we're on to toms, famously invented by Tom Tom Thomason. You, here we've got a 8, a 12 and a 16 inch tom for Ben's setup. DW kit, really nice sounding toms. Um, we've got one mic on each tom on the top of the drum. The types of microphone you can use completely vary. We've got some very nice Josephson uh, condenser mics that are really expensive, sound amazing, but you can equally do this with an SM57, SM7, D112, any, any sort of passable mic will get you a tom sound if the tom sounds good. Um, we've just done the top in this case. Um, I often mic the bottom of toms as well, which just helps get a bit more body and uh, it can be useful when you've got a dense mix or if you find you're just getting a lot of attack you might be getting all the nice attack of the drum uh, but not enough body from from the drum so having one on the bottom can be good you only need a subtle bit of it and you don't need much of the top end um, you can always gate the bottom mic so that it only opens when you hit the top mic which saves you getting all kind of kick drum and things in the mic and getting a messy sound um, you want to try and position your mic over the drum, pointing roughly at the centre of the drum. If you're too close to the edge, you might find it's a bit ringy. If you're too over the drum, you might find the drum is going to hit it or something like that. Um, another thing to take into account is cymbals. Um, you will get cymbals on your Tom mics no matter what you do. They're kind of the bane of a recording engineer's life in terms of cymbals can get on everything and you you just want to try and minimise that because they'll be there anyway you don't have to worry about them not being there so you have to think about rejection so this one assuming Ben's going to have a symbol here I've tried to position it away from that uh, I've also got all the mics pointing roughly in the same direction if you've got a drummer with, with um, a lot of symbols say they've got a ride that's quite low and they might have a china here you might struggle to get the mic in. You can come at this angle, but then you, you just need to be careful when you've got mics facing towards each other. It, you just need to really check your phase on those ones. Okay, so Tom's are all mic'd up. Drums are sounding really good. Let's go and see what they sound like in the control room. Okay, so the Tom's are all set up. Uh, they're sounding good in the room and we've got some mics on them. I'm now uh, in the control room, as you can see, let's see how they're sounding. Uh, just hit some Tom's please, Ben. Cheers. Okay, cool. So I'm really happy with how that sounds. It sounds to me how it sounds in the room. Um, now the next job is to check the phase relationship between those and your overheads. Always use, uh, well, I always use my overheads as the, the kind of starting point. If everything is in phase with my overheads, then I'm happy. Uh, so that would be my next job. I hope you enjoyed that and got something from it. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to see the kit, and hear the kit in its full glory, head over to Ben Minel's channel uh, where he'll be shredding away. No, the camera's not broken, I just paused. <laughs>